Here is brand new footage out of Texas tonight. Donald Trump shaking hands with Ted Cruz in Houston. This is ahead of their joint rally. This is 2018 Ted Cruz doing what 2016 Cruz would find unthinkable, asking Trump to save his career in his own home state of Texas. Rarely do you see a politician's claims denuded this blatantly in the span of one election cycle. This man is a pathological liar. The man is utterly amoral. Donald is a sore loser. He's proud of being a serial philanderer. I'm very glad that the president is coming on Monday to come down to Texas for a rally in Houston. Let me say in particular, Don, thank you for your father standing up in the face of that hatred that is directed at President Trump. Cruz shouting out President Trump and his family there, a total opposite of how Trump treated Cruz defaming his father by baselessly accusing him of murdering a president and launching sexist attacks on Cruz's wife, plus, of course, unloading on Cruz himself. He's a nasty guy. Nobody likes him. Nobody in Congress likes him. Nobody likes him anywhere once they get to know him. You are the and I'll, single and I'll tell biggest you. liar. You probably are worse than Jeb Bush. You are the single biggest liar. Lion Ted. Holds that Bible high, puts it down, and then he lies. I think he's crazy. I, honestly, I think he's crazy. <laughs> Critics say tonight's rally reveals at least two things about Cruz. Politically, he's in trouble in a close race with Democrat Beto O'Rourke. And personally, his response to Trump's attacks is to give in rather than hold his ground. That's bigger than politics. It really goes to your life ethic. Now, some claim there are no rules in these kind of battles. Other people say... There are lines that you cannot cross, that can't be forgiven, like family. That issue in the Trump Cruz beef was also the issue in the beef between musicians Drake and Pusha T. And Drake just explained some attacks cannot be forgiven. Like rap purists and people who just love conversation, they love to say, hey, man, there's no rules in this, but there are rules in it. It's like I knew something was going to come up about my kid. The mom and dad thing, whatever. I'm going to tell you. Wishing death on my friend that has MS. I study rap battles for a living. Now, when you mention defenseless people who are sick in the hospital that passed away, there's just a price that you have to pay for that. Tonight's Trump Cruise rally is the political equivalent of Drake and Pusha T making an album together. That will never happen because apparently family values are stronger in celebrity rap battles than in today's Texas Republican politics. For more, I'm joined by former New York Times executive editor, Howell Raines. Are there no rules left, not even defending uh, your wife, your family? No, I think we're in a new political world where there are no rules left. It's in effect a circus, and the only rule maker is the ringmaster, Donald Trump. And that's, he's making this poor man jump through loops. Years ago, I saw people of character cozy up to George Wallace mm. in Alabama after much soul searching. This is this that was pinochle compared to what we're seeing here. So but you, no, so no, you, think, you think Drake is wrong and living in a bygone era of saying I, there are rules you can't you can't break. I don't know his business. I'm sure he knows rap battles, and I can't, I can't say he's wrong for that reason. But I do think there are no rules uh, on the Republican side of, of politics now. And, they, and the president was asked about this. I want you to l listen to him here when confronted with, and again, everyone says, oh, it's all rhetoric. It is wrong. It is defamatory. It is outrageous to accuse someone of being involved in the assassination of an American president. Uh, now he has become the president. And this was his response to whether that worked out, that attack on Cruz. Do you regret implying that I don't no I don't regret anything, honestly. It, was the president it all worked out very nicely. To have regrets in life or in politics, you have to have principles. And Ted Cruz told the truth in the campaign. He is a serial liar who has no regard for facts. That said, I'm a bit in awe today after seeing the Wall Street Journal NBC poll this morning. He may not be a great deal maker, but I guarantee you he is a great closer. We're seeing a ferocious closing uh, in this campaign. It, it reminds me. 
I'm old enough to remember Muhammad Ali, and he was the most dangerous in the late rounds, in the final seconds of each round, when he would bewilder his opponents with a hurricane of punches. And I think that's what we're seeing from Trump right now. He is viciously effective as a closer. And if you look in that poll today, you see he's done something quite remarkable. He took a party that was sleepwalking, and he now has it as fired up, maybe more fired up, than the Democrats. Well, you also you, you have another comparison there, which is being able to take a punch or in, in rope-a-dope in the, <laughs> in the rumble in the jungle. He took a lot of punches yeah, from did. Foreman yeah. before yeah. coming back. Yeah. And sometimes that's the most dangerous thing. I want to also play a different person, Mitt Romney, because it's bigger than Cruz. You say, well, they were in this pitched primary battle. But mm-hmm. Mitt Romney pushed, positioned himself as above Trump and above all this. Take a look. If we Republicans choose Donald Trump as our nominee, the prospects for a safe and prosperous future are greatly diminished. Donald Trump is a phony, a fraud. His promises are as worthless as a degree from Trump University. You led the Never Trump movement. I mean, what happened with that? How did you? How did you oh, I don't think that was the case. Uh, president Trump was not the person I wanted to become the nominee of our party, uh, but he's president now. The policies he's promoted have been pretty effective, and uh, I support a lot of those policies. Say it ain't so, Mitt. <laughs> the, uh, you don't have to do this in Utah. You're going to win that race anyway. Um, yeah, he doesn't. Politically, he doesn't need to do that. No, he really doesn't. He really doesn't. Uh, but I think the others in the Republican Party do have to do that. And what is so uh, noticeable to me right now is he's got his message. Kavanaugh, Khashoggi, Jobs. Mm. The Democrats have a diffuse message and no national spokesman. Right. And what you're hitting on is be careful underestimating Donald Trump. We were able to talk uh, Drake, Pusha T, Ted Cruz, Mitt Romney, Muhammad Ali. We didn't get to Taylor Swift. We'll do that (laughs) next time. Thanks, Ari. How always Always good to see you. Hey, I'm Ari Melber from MSNBC. You can see more of our videos right here. Or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us, and we appreciate that.